Hello again. Remember to always wear your goggles, you know. We only have one pair of eyes, as I always say. Today we're gonna do the copper plate and the rainbow torch, all right? Copper plate and rainbow torch. Very simple. Here's a piece of metal. You've seen this one before in other videos. We're gonna dip it in the copper plate. Remember, you can dip it, you can spray it, or you can even rub it on. You know, if you were to get a rag like this, a microfiber rag, get that microfiber rag wet, look at this. You can rub it on like that. You can also spray it, okay? Or, of course, you can also dip it. Here we go. It's instant, just like that. Now, after you put it in the copper plate, you wanna go ahead and rinse the excess chemical in the water. Put it in the water, all right? So now, today, what we're gonna do is the rainbow torch. You need the copper plate in order for the rainbow torch to work, okay? Because you need the base of the copper in order to take that color. So the rainbow torch is this one right here. The rainbow torch looks just like water, so make sure it's always labeled, as I always say. So here we go. Copper plate, rinse it while it's wet. That's when you spray it on. We're gonna spray it right here and right here so you can see how it starts changing. And don't get carried away because you think it's not working, but it works very fast and you don't wanna spray a lot because then you know, you don't appreciate the, the rainbow effect. It go, If you spray too much, then it goes all to one color. So make sure that when you spray it, see that? Let it react. All right, let's do another one. Let's do it on, on a piece of metal like this one. Here's another piece of metal. This is stamped metal, all right? Again, dip it, spray it, or rub it on, but we'll dip it, copper plate, pull it out, that quick. Rinse the excess chemical off in water. Okay, so now you have that. Now remember, like I said, you need that copper plate first. Once you do that, here's the rainbow torch. Here we go. You want to spray it a little bit at a time because you don't want too much. See how it's reacting? All right, so let's say you want more on the tip over here. If you want to spray some more, more here, more here. It all depends what you like. Let's see. And on stamped metal like this, it reacts really nice because the stamped metal is cold rolled steel. So it doesn't have any kind of mill scale on it. And of course, as I always say, you need to have a clean surface in order for the chemical to react so if there's any kind of oil or dirt or anything like that on this it's not going to react properly so make sure that when you clean your metal let's say you sandblast it or put or clean it with soap and water make sure that it's totally and completely dry and make sure that there's no oil on this piece of metal so it'll react properly okay but it's once you put on the copper plate now the rain and and the rainbow torch let's go ahead and dip it in water again all right once you dip it in water the reaction of the rainbow torch stops so now once we do that let's go ahead and neutralize it here we go put the rust to rest go ahead and neutralize it again it's all in sequence all in sequence it's all copper plate water rainbow torch water rust to rest which is the neutralizer and then water again you don't let it dry, it's all in sequence. Keep that, you know, remember that all the time. Once you put it in water and you do the final rinse like this, you wanna go ahead and dry it as soon as possible. Here we go. And again, like I said in the other videos, if you wanna see how it's gonna look with the gloss sealer, the water is your indicator, okay? If you wanna see how it's gonna look with the gloss, this is how it's gonna look. And this is how it's gonna look with the matte sealer when you dry it.
I'm sorry, it's too loud. I apologize. But this is how it looks with the matte sealer. It just doesn't shine. And for, you know, for projects like this, it's up to you. But I think it looks better when it comes to the rainbow torch. I think with the gloss sealer, with our gloss sealer, it looks much better with the gloss than with the matte. But again, it's up to you what you want to do. All right? But it's as simple as that. So make sure you look at our at our website and see, you know, the other products and this product so you can look at the directions or if you have any questions, by all means, call us, okay? Thank you very much for watching this video.